So, hello guys. Today I will be doing the first part of the second exercise, which is on, a, as you may see here, a steel design of a two dimensional frame. So, let's get started. First of all, we'll need to pick these options as you may see here the regional settings will be from France let's do it let's pick the frame to the design go to tools preferences and the regional settings choose France. Here we stay with English and also here English. Accept that. Yes. Okay, so now let's go to, as you may see here, I have printed this. Just follow this document. I will be following this document here. Let's do the model definition. Let's go to bars. I will click in the bar type and pick column. I don't have here the section that I need, which is a HEA 300. I'll go to this button, pick this section, HEA 300. Okay, let's add this. And now we will define the node coordinates by this method shown here which is not not the best method to do this but I will do I will do like they ask over here so let's do it let me change to here and start marking here the coordinates first of all zero zero 0, 05 okay then i'll need a 0, 05 0, 010 then i'll need a 0, 010 0, 015 sorry 0, 015 now i'll need a 80 and 85 let's add that let me just see the structure here now I will need a sixteen zero sixteen five sixteen ten and a sixteen fifteen. Now I'll need a twenty four zero twenty four zero and also 24, 5, let me add that, and the 24, 5, sorry, 24, 5, 24, 8. Okay, I will close this now. This will be the columns. Now let's define the beams, as they say over here. Also the same cross-section, which will be a beam. I'll have to tell the program which is the bar type because later I will be doing steel design here in robot so I have to tell the program which is a bar type in this point so it's a beam it has this cross section and the, the coordinates will be let me push this just a little bit to the left. Uh, zero five eight five. Okay. Sixteen five here. Okay. And twenty four five here. Okay. Now we'll need zero ten and a sixteen ten. Okay. And now we will need a 16, 10, 24, 8. It 
has a slope. Now I'll need a 0, 15 and 16, 15. Okay, there we have our structure already defined. I may click here. You may see the cross section. I'm going to close this window. You may see the cross section here. Now, let's go to the supports icon as they ask here and define the support. The support will be fixed. We will have to pick all these nodes 1, 5, 7 and 11. Okay, we fixed current selection and pick all these nodes and apply. Here you may see the symbol for the fixed support. Okay, let me go back. Now we need the, to uh, define the load cases and loads, as you may see here. So let's do it. I'm going to push this button on load types. Add the first dead load one case, which is just this is just the self weight of the structure. Now I need to have a live load 1 and a live load 2. Okay, let me go back here. Now we need to... Now we need to... Make the load of that here. Let me go to... Bar. This will be a simple uniform load. 20 let me add and apply to bar number 10 11 and 12 over here okay apply this, I, I have I have marked this as live load 2 this must be live load 1 it's a mistake I'm going to make it right later but now let me define live load 1 we find live load one here. Okay, it is this case. I'm going to loads, load table. I'm just going to erase this one. I'll press the delete key. Okay, it's good. Let me close this. And now let me define live load two, which will be a uniform load, which will have this value. And let me add this to bar 13 which is this one here and apply okay we have already defined the load cases let me check that out that load one which is just a self weight as you may see by this red line live load one with a volume minus 20 kilo newtons downwards and live load two so in the next movie, we will do the definition of snow and wind loads by this French code shown here. Thank you for watching.